Welcome back, dear students. In today's video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of identifying microorganisms that cause diseases. As medical lab technicians, it's crucial for us to accurately identify these pathogens to help diagnose and treat patients effectively. So, let's get started. Introduction Before we start into the identification process, let's briefly discuss why it's important. Identifying the specific microorganism responsible for a disease helps doctors choose appropriate treatments, understand the prognosis, and implement necessary control measures. As MLT students, your role in this process is vital. Methodologies for Identification There are several methodologies used in the identification of microorganisms. Let's explore a few common ones. Number 1. Microscopy Microscopy allows us to observe microorganisms directly. Techniques like gram staining, acid fast staining, and KOH testing help differentiate bacteria based on their cell wall characteristics, shapes, and staining properties. Number 2. Culture and Biochemical Tests Culturing microorganisms in a laboratory is a common method. By providing optimal conditions, we can isolate and grow bacteria, fungi, and other organisms on specific media. Biochemical tests such as the catalase test, oxidase test, and various sugar fermentation tests help determine the metabolic properties of microorganisms. Number 3. Serological Methods Serological tests detect antibodies produced by the immune system in response to specific microorganisms. These tests are used to identify viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Techniques like enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA, and Western blotting are commonly employed. Number 4. Molecular Techniques Molecular methods have revolutionized the field of microbiology. Polymerase chain reaction, PCR, DNA sequencing, and gene amplification techniques enable the detection and identification of microorganisms based on their genetic material. These methods provide high accuracy and specificity.